Whew, okay, so we're doing a challenge. $20 a minute. Oh, we can stay in this water. <laughs> <laughs> Glacial melt, y'all. I'm already numb. This is way colder than Al's pod. 30 seconds. $10. $10. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, there's the trail right there. Yuck. Oh, you pulled it out? Oh. Yeah. Did it, does it hurt? Yeah. What's up, adventure agents? Agent Tex here. The boys are going camping. Got me, Agent Rex, and Agent Axe, and Agent Tracker. Agent Tracker's a girl. The boys and the girl are going camping. And we're here at a river we had to ride our dirt bikes to. And we're gonna camp out on the river. So let's go check the river out and see how it is. Wow. For the next 24 hours, this is your land, your home. Step one, gratitude. I'm so grateful to be here right now. It's a secret spot. I spent a lot of time looking and looking to find a spot like this. I'm so grateful to be here. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it'll bite you. <laughs> Rescued my favorite lure again. So Agent Axe is doing some island fishing. So these are just dog carts. Get them for pretty cheap, Walmart, Amazon. And I modified these bikes to fit them with this hitch here. <laughs> Just drilled a hole and put a bolt in there. Did the same thing on the Asian Axis bike here too. So it's great, we can haul all our camping gear. We can head to remote camp spots that you can only get to via dirt bike. So we're fueling up because this water is glacial melt here and we're only several miles from the glaciers and <laughs> it's cold but it's this such a warm melt? day yeah Tracker. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love the summer sunshine and the ice cold water. It's great. Great contrast. Oh, there's Tracker. Hey, you made it. She swam across. And that's no small thing for Tracker. She's super scared of water, and this water is extra cold. This way. So I had to go downstream here. These rivers can be really dangerous. There can be log jams, and I had to make sure that the boys were good. But those rapids look awesome, so it's my turn now. Woo! Oh, I made it. There's this little side outlet right here. It's like a little pool. Yeah, the beaver definitely lives in there. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing a challenge. <laughs> $20 a minute. Oh, we can God. stay in this water. Glacial melt, y'all. I'm already <laughs> numb. This is way colder than Al's pod. 30 seconds. $10. 30 $10. seconds. <laughs> $10. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, my body's starting to sh like shake. 
What is it? It's been a minute. I, I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Oh, my my hand is vibrating like like literally vibrating. Like I just struck a hardcore like piece of metal. What is it? Uh, minute fifteen. Minute minute thirty. Oh my god. Axel's all namaste over there. He's like, let him off. <gasps> what is oh. that? Two minutes. Yes, 15 more seconds. You made 30. You made 45. 45. Okay. All right. That was cool. Look at that. You're so skinny. How did, how did you even stay in there without like a, being a solid block of ice like instantly? <laughs> I guess that's nothing to do with that, but Andrew has just beat him every time on the cold challenge. But so now in the coldest, uh... I beat him. <laughs> All right, Tracker, I got a challenge for you. I'm going to give you one ribeye steak for every minute you can stay in the water, okay? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm good. Basically, you know how when you touch an ice cube to your skin, it's like, yeah. ow, that hurts really bad. It's like burning. Uh-huh. It's like that, except for my entire body. Wow. I just want to lay on the grass. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels so good. So this is, uh, it's nature's spa. You just no, lay down No, I want to go oh, to the hot so springs. Great. Man, That's a spa. It's like hot, cold therapy. It's great. Do it. I don't want to do Get out, do this. Get in some really cold water and go lay in the warm sand. I bet you double or nothing that I can beat you in chess. So he's willing to risk the money he just won and play me in chess for it, so. First blood. Oh, that was dumb. Dang it. I was like, ha, how could Darian be so foolish? Oh, that was brutal. There's a lot of death right there. For the oh game. my gosh. All right, so he's parading my dead soldiers here and my queen just to mock me. This is rough. My king's pretty scared. He can only move one because he's so, he's so lazy. You know, kings are like that. They just get super lazy. They got their crowns, they got all their servants, and they get so lazy, they I can only move one place. <laughs> only one place over here. Yeah. All right, so I moved that there. Now what are you gonna do there? I'm gonna do this, and I think that might Dang be it. checkmate. You got me in checkmate, but I'll make one last kill. Ah! Dude, you're pretty good. You knew almost exactly what you were gonna do every time. That's a bad sign for me. Every time I moved, he was like, I knew exactly what to do. I knew exactly what to do. If you move there, I knew exactly what to do. No, Double we or nothing. Man, wow, he's already made 60 bucks. This this is turning out to be a very lucrative camping trip for you. I'll bet you 15. <laughs> I'll bet you 15. That no, you can beat no, me? No, no, 20, 20. 20? Yes, 20. Oh gosh, this is a really bad example, you guys. I'm like teaching all of you like that gambling is good. Well, we only gamble with people who are bad at gambling. <laughs> Night for a bishop is not a good trade. Night for the bishop. Checkmate. Nice doing minutes. business with you. <laughs> Check it out, Axe. What? Yeah. Wild strawberry. What the heck? Mm, that's good. Good little treat. Rex found a really big one. One of Agent Trinity's favorite flowers, lupine here. Hey, Tracker. What happened? What happened, huh? going like 30 kilometers an hour and then I just heard he this really loud snap and then my bike just slows down and I look back and my chain is completely just like dragging snapped in half oh uh. snapped right in half I'll bet a rock got kicked up into here got jammed in there and wedged it
made a big mistake. I left these steaks in the cooler. No ice, it's just a really good small cooler and they're not thawed. We really need to eat them, so I'm just gonna have to wait for the sun to thaw them hopefully here. Big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> Agent Dex, you're killing me. That's looking awesome, man. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack up some of the dirt around. So Adrex just found this, and I think it's that way. Oh, 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 oh. yeah! <laughs> Steaks need to thaw out a bit more. While they're thawing, we'll cook the potatoes. So I had two good solid bites just now, but I wasn't quick enough. Oh, lost my lure, so it's time to head back. Check on the boys. How do you know if the fish bites? Oh, you'll know it. It'll, you'll feel it. It'll feel unnatural. It's not like you got snagged on a rock or a stick. It'll be, it'll tug, you know? so hungry. Oh! That oh God. is a potato. <laughs> oh. So we got Crater Lake root beer and Crater Lake orange cream soda. Oh, that is incredible. Incredible. The potato is pretty good. No, obviously. The one it's like a potato bowl. You just scoop it out. It's all burnt on the outside, but it's perfect on the inside. Did you ask if I had a headlamp for you? Yeah. Why, yes, I do. Look, look, you can get your headlamp too from theadventureagents.com slash shop for all your camping needs. What? Look, I just put my hand here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a coal. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> It'll burn you. All right, so Hidgen Axe is uh, <laughs> it's chucking two colas here. Double doing it. That's what happens when you never get cola ever. <laughs> We don't ever drink soda, so um, Agent X is living it up. Oh, there's Tracker. Hey, girl. You want some of that? That's some good stuff right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to feed your doggies. Got to feed your doggies. Oh. Poor Tracker. She gets like this. You see the sad, droopy face? She's so tired. But she will not go to sleep until we get her soft, comfy, cozy bed, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think, huh? That's your very own sleeping bag. Yeah. Oh, you like it? Oh. <laughs> Good, good. 
Yeah. So this is horsetail, and Agent Trinity told me a trick that she heard about where you can wash your dishes with horsetail. This plate here is so nasty, it's just like it's got so much grease stuck to it, and I can't get it off because the water's so cold. So let's see if the horsetail will get it off. This horsetail is really abrasive. See that? That's all the fat. I just can't get it off. Let's see if the horsetail can do it. Wow. I just can't believe how well that worked. Thank you, Agent Trinity. I love you. Old fire, new fire. I think that uh, this is gonna stick around. Just like that did, and always will for humanity. It was extremely important for our growth in being able to love each other more. But it can also be extremely destructive and dangerous. And in the same way, this right here can be great for getting us together. The screen you're watching me through, but can also be extremely, extremely destructive. So, use it carefully. Okay. I'm at this point where these like... Yeah, they just like each other. just to make you jealous. <laughs> this ain't exactly alone out here, but uh, hey, we're roughing it pretty good. But we do have s'mores, so. <laughs> this tracker's too good for our own sleeping bag. Huh, you too good for your sleeping bag? She just wants to sleep with the pack. So, we'll let her sleep close to bed. All right, we're gonna hit the hay. See you in the morning. Is it still early enough to be a good fishing time? Yep, you need to get up and fish? You want to give fishing a shot too? Ready. Oh, Rexy here just caught a gigantic, whoa, trout here. That is so huge. That's 14 inches, man. We got lunch, y'all. We got lunch. Finger right Finger there, here. thumb right at the base. And just Rip it hard snap. and just snap it hard and fast. Ow! Oh, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> just hard and fast like that. Just kind of make a, a safe blockade there. So you got to share your fishing secrets with us. Where did you cast uh, when you caught over it? Over there. Over there? Okay. So I think these are wild blueberries. So good. Yeah, maybe there's a spot we could cross, like a tree that fell or something. There's a bridge right there. You see it? Oh, look at that. That's an old water heater. Hey look, there's leaf stands on it from plants. 
Saint Leafs thing. Oh man. Oh man, there's a campsite here. You got a table, you got <laughs> you got firewood, a hatchet, a grill, a saw. Man, we found somebody's spot here. <laughs> this is really far from a road. I'll bet people hike uh, a good couple miles to get here. Oh my gosh, I think this is an outhouse. <laughs> Look at this. This is state land. Somebody's got, got themselves set up here. Oh, that's a, this is an ATV trail. Look at that. Four wheelers come through here. No wonder we're not catching any fish. Dude. I can't believe you found this. Look at that. That's a fossilized imprint of a leaf. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That is an incredible find, I think. I mean, I don't know. I've never found anything like this. That is awesome. Where did you find it? Just like on the, on the ground? So we don't know where Axe went. He just ran off somewhere. He's not answering. I heard him yelling, and then he hasn't answered back yet. There you go. Go get him. Nope, that's something else. She's not tracking axe, that's for sure. This has been disturbed. See that? Yeah, I see. Recently. So you gotta learn how to track <laughs> whenever you're in the woods, and I can see clear disturbance here. So I'm pretty sure he went up river here. Oh yeah, that's recent. He kicked that right up. It's hard when you're bent on catching a fish, you just go to the next spot. Oh, no, the next spot. Oh, man, there's one in the next spot. And you just keep going and going and going. And uh, you lose track of where you are and where everybody else is. Oh, there he is. There he is, right there. Axe, don't go too far without us, okay? I didn't know where you went. So we want to leave this place as close to as we found it as possible. Sort of like leave no trace. We want to leave almost no trace that humans were camping here. It's a beautiful wild spot on the creek. I love going to wild spots and having that feeling like no other humans have explored this area. It's such a great feeling and I want to give that feeling to other people by making sure that this doesn't look like we were here at all save for a few footprints in the sand. Fish is ready. So we got a catch and cook here. Thanks to Darian. Nice work, Darian. Thanks. Good Great day. work. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing looking trout. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. I think it needs maybe a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. So I'm eating mine with some leftover potatoes from breakfast. My leftover oh, potatoes. Potato. And for dessert, we got the huckleberries that Asian Axe picked. Mm. Huckleberries or blueberries? I still don't know for sure. Oh, don't eat mm. all of them. Mm. Oh, sugar. Here's a marshmallow, Daddy. Mm. Yeah. And we'll have marshmallows. So we're stuffing the marshmallows with huckleberries. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Mm. Oh, look at this. All right, agents. Well, all good things must come to an end so that better things can take their place. And. This adventure must come to an end so that your adventure can begin. Remember, take your families out on adventures. Don't just watch our adventures. Don't just be jealous of us. Oh, they get to go on adventures. They're having so much fun. 
you can do it too. Schedule it, even if you only do it once a year, do something like this. Uh, it's so wonderful, it's so That's awesome. Cool. And I just wanna say, I am so uh, grateful for you two boys. These, these two boys are awesome. They are so incredible. They are some of the best people to adventure with and I'm so grateful to and proud to be able to go on adventures like these with them. And I just wanna also say I'm super proud of you, Agent Axe, for being brave and braving the water like that. That was so cool. I couldn't believe that, that you lasted that long. That was just freezing to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you for freezing to death. <laughs> Darren over here, at first he was like, nah, I don't wanna fish. But then at some point he like, a, a switch flip and he's like, I'm gonna fish. Whenever he fish gets to onto fish. something, this kid is so persistent. He is crazy persistent. Uh, the Rubik's Cube, chess, anything he really puts his mind to, he ends up being very proficient in. And I can tell you're gonna be a great fisherman and you already caught the biggest fish we've ever caught <laughs> here in these streams and creeks. So super proud of you, man. That's, that is so awesome, thanks. Love you too. Y'all are awesome. Remember, life's an adventure. Love is a key. Love is a who. Love loves you. And I have a And we love pole. you too. And he has a fishing pole. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you on the next adventure. Agent Tech's out. <laughs>